What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610 and today we're doing a little bit of a different video, I guess. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, they always ask me this all the time. I always do all these pack opens in course, so a lot of people always ask me if certain sets are worth buying. Uh, I've done a few videos like this before, you know, talking about other sets, but I thought I would try out this style of uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it for number hunters? This is a set that's coming out tomorrow. A few people are getting it early, of course, but, you know, I'm still going to make this video anyway. Uh, basically, we're just going to kind of skim through the pack and talk about more notable cards and just, and I'm going to give reasons why to either buy it or don't. You know, I'm going to try to say both sides of it and then uh, you guys tell me, of course, in the comments if you agree that this set's worth buying or if it's not and tell me why. Alright, so first off, with Number Hunters, honestly, I think this set really is worth buying. Well, you know, just kind of jumping right into it. Uh, this set helps out a lot of different decks. So, and it has a lot of fun cards to use. Everything's holographic too in this set for people that may not know. So first off, let's go with the one of the first things that is in Number Hunters, and that's new Chronomaly Monsters. If you love Chronomaly Monsters, of course you're going to love this. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, Chronomalies were a, uh, a cool art type. I'm glad to see a few uh, more support cards for it, and I think that's uh, nice that they brought them out. So that's one good reason. If you love Chronomalies, it's a reason to get this pack. Then Gimmick Puppets. We've had a few. We've only had the XC, you know, number of monsters really in promos and stuff. Uh, never really the actual cards, you know, for the art type. So they're actually getting printed now. There's a bunch of them. I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm only showing a few pictures. I'm not showing every card or this video would be extremely long. Uh, but yeah, if <laughs> Gimmick Puppets, a lot of people really looking at them. They look like a lot of fun to use. They're basically just an art type that goes and uh, makes rank 8 monsters. And, and it's... A cool art type. I might actually test it out. It depends what I get out of my box. I'm at least going to get probably two boxes of this set. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think they're going to be pretty fun to use. Alright, next thing. Another art type a lot of people haven't really been paying attention to, and this is probably my favorite of the art types in this set, and that is the Butterspy Monsters. We don't have a better picture for Blue Mountain Butterspy, unfortunately. I don't think there's an English picture yet, or I haven't seen one. Uh, this archetype is actually pretty cool. I do plan to do a deck profile on them because, <laughs> and that is going to be the manliest ever, right? <laughs> a deck profile about butterflies. Uh, but they are warrior type monsters, so I guess that's a little manly, right? Uh, it really is a good archetype, though. I mean, honestly, uh, most of the cards are light and dark, uh, so you can use sort of like a Twilight build on there using like Black Luster Soldier, Envoy. And uh, their XC monster, which is Photon Alexandra Queen, is actually a really good XC monster. So if you're looking for a new archetype to try out, I really do suggest this set for the Butterspy monsters. There's a few of them already out, too, in different sets, but uh, you get a lot of the support right here in this set, Number Hunters. And the main reason everybody wants Number Hunters, it's in the title, Number Monsters, of course. <laughs> that's probably the number one reason why everyone is going to go after this set, right? If, or if you're interested in all, it's number monsters. First off, these two are probably the most hyped of the two number monsters, which is uh, number 74, Master of Blades, because of uh, Dragon Rulers, and then number 85, Crazy Box, uh, because of its pretty much its broken effect. <laughs> um, probably also, you know, if you do collect number monsters, that's just a reason too, but these actually come in handy for the competitive scene as well. So that's the good thing about these numbers in this set is that we have some that will be helpful for competitive play. And then also everybody's going to want these numbers if you're a number hunter like me. You know, you want to get the whole set, you want to get every number card. So this set, I mean, that's pretty much a no-brainer right there, right? All right. We also have just a lot of XC and Chaos XC monsters. I really like that they did that. Uh, it didn't seem like we really had hardly any Chaos XC monsters at the beginning uh, before the set was announced. So I was kind of bummed out about that. But now there are a bunch of XC monsters, and each one, each of these newer XCs, have a Chaos version. As you can see, there's Comics Hero King Arthur, and then there's the Chaos version of him as well, which is uh, Comics Hero Legend Arthur. And the artworks are freaking awesome. He's like, you know, a knight, and then all of a sudden you have like, he's like a knight and half castle which is freaking epic looking and uh, not only that there's also like uh, coach king uh, giant trainer which we got out of our uh, premium pack that was uh, korean and then he also got a chaos version as well which is coach lord ultimate trainer uh the thing i really like too about all these xc monsters that's in this set is that uh there's they're not just all the same rank there's like basically <laughs> Uh, a different XC monster for at least every rank it seems like in this set so it helps out a lot hopefully this set will help out most decks and they do I mean you do have a lot of options so you you know you can help from dragon rulers to just you know anything that can use rank fours to I mean it's just that's why I really like about the set too is that it's not all just you know well we have you know at least one rank six and then mainly rank fours no we have every rank and I find that to be just freaking awesome 
and all these cow sixes. Maybe now people use up those rank up magics? I don't know. We'll see. The OCG imports, cards people have been asking about, but we still haven't got, but now we will get them. And that is, uh, for example, Gash the Dust Lord. It's a card I believe Jack Atlas used in, uh, in the manga. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I was actually going to do a please print on this, uh, and it was announced. So I was like, well, crap, I'm not going to be able to do the please print. Uh, it's not the most useful, but it's just cool that we're finally getting it. Uh, it's, it's basically, I think it's something like when you attack directly with it, its level goes up and then go all the way up to level 12. It's an interesting card, not really competitive, but, you know, I'm still glad we're going to get it. And also, he has, like, sort of like a Zongetsu sword, so that's kind of a plus for me. <laughs> Also, Battle Warrior, you guys gotta remember this, especially people that watch the old Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes, it's one Joey used. Kinda weird they put it in this pack, though, honestly. I would expect it out of the Legendary Collection, since it's about Joey in the Legendary Collection. I would think they'd just save it for that, but okay, no complaining here, I'm glad we're getting it. Even though it's not the most useful collectors, you know, we, we love those kind of cards. Uh, and another card, we have a Ritual Monster. You don't see those that often. Chakra, which is, uh, again, not the most useful, still awesome. I mean, for collectors and stuff, it's an awesome card that we finally got over here. I do hope that we'll get more of those fusions, though, that we don't have yet that can be used with Instant Fusion. Those will be a little bit more competitive, so we're still missing a few of those. Then there's Insect Armor with Laser Cannon. Ah, this card is old. I remember seeing this such a long time ago. I remember seeing so many fake cards of this. And, uh, yeah, you can even tell by even the Japanese picture of it how old, you know, the style is and everything for it. So I'm glad we're finally getting that in English, too. I mean, you know, again, not useful, but it's it's just awesome. You know, collectors, people that love the older Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes and all, too, are, are really going to enjoy those kind of cards. Now for the new cards, like Box of Friends and Princess Cologne. Uh... Getting a lot of hype, a lot of people are using them out and trying them out. I mean, I'm not going to say too much on these two because we already did a video of these, so I don't really want to backtrack and talk about them all over again. But they're going to be useful cards, and I can't wait for them to come out either. I can't wait to try out Box of Friends with Ojamas, honestly. Uh, and uh, the Super Reprints. Maybe you want to hollow out the deck that you use. You maybe use, like, uh, for example, Kagetoge and uh, the Gogo -Go monsters, like Gogo -Go Giant and stuff, are all getting uh, to be Super Reprints. So, yeah, all in all, I mean... <laughs> There's not going to be many sets, honestly, on these types of videos. I'm going to say it's not worth it. But this one is worth it. It really is. You're getting a lot of good reprints. You know, if you want, like, a reprint of, like, you have Kage Toge, but you want a hollow version, that's a plus. You want more C monsters, number monsters, uh, OCG imports getting brought over here, and uh, new cards and everything, too. I mean, you know, even if you like Chronomalies, uh, Butterspy, gimmick puppets. I mean, this, honestly, in my opinion, is one of the best sets Konami has brought to us, and I think it's awesome. So, I think, honestly, this is worth a shot. This is worth buying. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think about the set. Do you think it's worth buying or not? Give a reason either way. And what reason do you plan to buy it? Me, it's the number monsters, uh, the XC monsters. I mean, I know the Chaos XCs probably won't be used very often, but I just think they look so awesome that I want to get them. And, of course, those OCG imports, Battle Warrior, Heck yeah, I'm gonna get Battle Warrior, that's awesome. And of course some of these uh, super reprints, those are nice. I like the Google Google Monsters, They're, I like using them in Rockstone stuff, so I wouldn't mind picking up a few hollow versions of them. So tell me what you guys like on that. Thank you for watching. We'll, we will have box openings, of course. I'll probably do mine next week because I have to get mine uh, through the mail. And uh, we'll probably have two box openings, honestly, on that. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.